reflect on your one, what are the things that, that stick out in your mind? On my one? On your first year in the lineup. Oh. Um, first thing that stick out, just, I'd say that I got work to do. In what areas? Uh, just nothing huge, little areas. Um, first of all, get my weight under control early, that's huge, because really didn't get my weight under control until the end of the year, which kind of affected my whole season in, a, in its own way, but um, getting my legs back is a huge thing, and I feel like I did a decent job of that in the, my last match. Not so well. Not sitting to my butt when people do get to my legs is a bad habit I have, which sometimes the ref let it go, and sometimes they call too, so it's just one of those things you don't want to leave it up to the ref. How much changed for you after Midlands? Mm -hmm. And nutrition habits, all of lifestyle habits, all of that, uh, that led you to get your weight under control. Can you describe yeah. what what differences there were? Um, going to be, going to bed earlier and getting up, forcing myself to get up and eat like a small breakfast rather than sleeping in till lunch and then just eating breakfast and lunch all at the same time. So that was one big thing. And then um, just extra work after practice and just discipline about after workout, how much I put in me, not drinking until my stomach hurts, but just drinking until I feel good. Which, how um, much do you, how, can you describe what the differences are like when you step out there now versus maybe a couple months ago? Uh, yeah, I mean, the first duel of the year, I would say it against her all after one, period I was hurting pretty bad and now I mean I can wrestle a full match and feel completely fine afterward it's like the whole time I knew I was in shape and I knew I had a gas tank but I just wasn't able to bring it out there because it's a lack of energy so with Ramos graduating obviously a fan favorite a guy that that goes pedal to the metal uh do you want to be that guy that the, that's the fan favorite next year the guy that uh, uh, lights up the scoreboard and yeah I mean I, I'm unique in my own ways, just as he is, and I mean, yeah, that'd be nice. I go out and put points up. That's my goal. I mean, I hate settling for a zero-zero first period. I hate winning by one point. I, I just love racking the points up. So, I mean, I I could see that. How much to that do you guys need team-wide across the board right now? Huh? You feel like you need more of that team-wide across the board? Um. I feel like a lot of guys, a lot of our guys try try and get to that more than people realize. It's, I mean, it's tough when you got an opponent who's watched video on you and knows your best shot and mm -hmm. blocks it off. And it's it's one of those things when you're rest. It's from the outside looking in is a whole different perspective than yeah. from the inside being inside, you know. But I mean, yeah, I mean, all of us can get more offense going and. When, to break through that, what does it take? Does it take multiple different, I mean, I mean more uh, multi-dimensional? Do you have yeah. to be more multi-dimensional to you break? Gotta, you always got to have more than just one shot, I feel like. And then if he does stop it, you can't be afraid to go back to it because, I mean, the same shot three times might not work the first three times, but the fourth time it might work. And a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people hit a shot and then they get kind of, scared to go back to it after it doesn't work for him. Can uh, you kind of speak to your mentality in the tiebreaker last night? Um, I know you didn't get away, but it was, uh, I oh. mean, it was one thing after another, you know, trying to get away. Um, uh. It's kind of like that mentality where you're underwater and just flailing away to get, you know, for your life at that point. I mean... Pretty much, that's what it was. It was a life or death get away type deal, and I would stand up, and he would drop to my ankle, and I just kicked and kicked, and I mean that's stalling. So I feel they made, and that wasn't the first time he did that in the match. So I mean, if he's gonna hang on to my ankle while I'm kicking, anybody can do that. So st stalling, and I guess they made the call and gave me the point, and then I got the right out. So I mean, even if I wouldn't have got the stalling call, I was feeling confident because. I felt good, and I felt like I was getting to him more than he was getting to me. Yeah. 